Hi, I'm Ashish Mathur. Welcome to a short video on the practical usage of Microsoft Query. In this video, I'd like to share with you how one can convert a matrix to a columnar data structure. For other solutions, you may visit my website ashishmathur.com. So here's what the data actually looks like. I have a five column data set showing me the year, month, the brand, the category, and the volume. I'd like to change the structure of this data to have show me years and months in the two columns. The brand should appear column wise and in the matrix like data structure that so emanates, I'd like to show the volume numbers over here. So as for example, let's suppose there were seven brands appearing in this column. I'd like there to be seven columns over here. The category column can be ignored for this particular question. So I'd like to solve this problem by using Microsoft Query. Microsoft Query is a small application which is a part of Microsoft Excel itself. Now the way to activate that and write um, the query would be something like this. I have first, for, first and foremost assigned a name to this range. So I go to formulas, I go to name manager, click on new, A1 to E30, that's the range. Let's give it a name called dummy. Click on close and let's convert this into a table to ensure that if I were to add further rows of data, then my result should automatically keep updating. Click on OK there. Now, open a new worksheet, save the file, and uh, I now go to data from other sources, from Microsoft Query, Excel files, click on OK. I navigate to the folder where my Excel file is saved. So that's on the C colon users, my username, desktop. It's on the desktop dummy data. I click on OK. With dummy selected over here, click on the greater than symbol do a next. It's asked me whether I want, I want to filter the data set or not. Well, none for now. I click on next. Would I like to sort? Not required either. Click on next yet again. What would you like to do next? I'd like to view the data or edit the query in Microsoft query. If I click on finish here, um, a window opens up that shows me my name reach dummy and the data below that. And there's a little button here called SQL. I click on that, blank everything out and write the following SQL query. Transform first uh, volume select year comma month comma category from dummy Group by would be the same as what I have done in the select statement above. And I want to pivot by brand. So if I click on OK, SQL query, query cannot be represented graphically, continue anyway. Um, does not recognize category as a valid field name. So there's a spelling mistake over there. I click back there and I go change it to C-A-T-E and carry out the same, the same change here as well. Click on OK, click on OK, and I now get my desired structure. There's year here, there's month here, there's category, and I get uh, the various brands uh, column-wise with the numbers of, with the volume numbers appearing in between. Now, all I need to do is transfer this data back to the Excel file. So I go to File, Return Data to Microsoft Excel, Select how you want to view the data in the workbook. I want it in a table format. Where do you want to put the report? From cell A1, I click on OK, and uh, I'm done. And the best part of all of this is that the data is refreshable, which means that if I carry out any changes over here to the existing um, rows of data, or if I add new rows of data here as well, all I need to do is right-click and do a refresh. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you.